beautiful Sagittarians, welcome to my channel. This is Baba Jolie here with your bonus love reading. I'm just cleansing your space here and I've meditated on your cards. For those of you who are returning, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for all your wonderful likes, shares and subscribes. I'm truly grateful for all your beautiful energy. Just a little reminder that this is a general reading. It may not resonate for everybody, so please take what is for you and leave the rest behind. This is a general reading, not a one-to-one -one reading, just so you're aware. Also, be aware that there are scammers at the moment pretending to be me and various other tarot readers. I do not offer personal readings for money. I will never take your money. I don't have WhatsApp, PayPal, uh, Telegram, or Patreon. I don't take donations. I'm not here to take your wonderful money, okay, my beautiful Sag? Uh, so please be mindful. Also, if anyone claimings to be my, claiming to be my assistant offers you um, a meet and greet or a personal reading, uh, I don't do that either, and I do not have a personal assistant. I also know nothing about cryptocurrency, okay? They're also offering that as well. Uh, so just be uh, careful there. Let's get straight to your uh, bonus love reading. Now, I found myself uh, a little bit ahead uh, this month, so I thought I'd uh, shove in a, an extra love reading there. Um, just a chance for spirit to talk about whatever it is they wish to talk about. Um, I have no control over the cards. I have to discuss and honor the cards that come out. So if you don't want to speak about the old or the past and it comes out, unfortunately, I do have to acknowledge the fact that Spirit wants to talk about it, and then I will move on. Ooh, okay, uh, let's go get those cards. One moment, please. Uh, they want one more, so I'm just going to leave that open. One moment, please. Okay, <laughs> so we got reconciliation. Uh, so for those of you who do not wish to want, uh, talk about uh, the past, Unfortunately, um, there will be new if they want to talk about it. Uh, wow. Okay. Uh, you may have a Scorpio placement there, uh, Sag, because these two front cards, uh, they come out with Scorpio as well there. We've got uh, Reconciliation. Uh, someone from your past wants to return to your life. Now, just to let you know, it doesn't have to be like the ex that, you know, is uh, was horrible to you or uh, the person... Um, that you know you want to leave in the past. It doesn't mean it's a reconciliation in terms of an ex-lover. Uh, they're just indicating someone from your past is returning to your life. So, you know, uh, let's see what's going on there. We've also got this could be the one, and it says here you've already met the romantic partner you seek. So perhaps it is someone that you had a relationship with, or perhaps it's someone that you had a connection with, passion, chemistry, but nothing ever got going there. So let's uh discover what they want to talk about. We have playfulness, okay? To recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit to have fun and shine. Pay attention to the red flags, okay? Um, the signs are cautioning you. Now, I will clarify this card and see what that is, but they have asked me to go again, so I will. Thank you so much, spirit guides, great angels. Can you please guide my beautiful Sagittarians? What do they need to know regarding this love reading? Okay, we have soulmate, and it says, yes, this is your soulmate. <laughs> so you may be questioning it. This could be the one. Uh, it's almost like I hear huge question marks going up. Uh, this could be the one. Yes, you've already met the romantic partner you seek. And soulmate, yes, this is the one. So whether you believe it or not, <laughs> the, they're indicating here, this is the person they would like to talk about as being your soulmate. Um, now this could be... I'm getting a secondary energy from this card, Sag. I'm getting a new energy. Okay, uh, so uh, there is a possible reconciliation on the cards here for you with somebody, but I'm also getting new. Okay, so uh, I will clarify new as we go through the reading. Someone, oh, someone is very romantic, quite passionate. Um, yeah, we'll clarify that energy as we get to it. And we also got getting to know each other. And it says, as you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. Okay. Now I get, there's, I'm just getting an energy, Sag, of one very protective friend of yours. Um, they don't really like the person uh, from the past, whoever that person is, okay? So whoever's on your mind that you think it may be, um, there's one friend or one uh, person that you really trust, someone that you really care about, uh, they're very protective over you, uh, Sag. They're really indicating that this person does not like uh, the person that you chose to be with in the past, okay? Uh, I mean, this, this friend is very truthful, very honest, straight to the point. I feel like you uh, really, 
How can I put that? You really uh, like that about this person. They're sharp shooting, just like you, okay? Uh, now, we will clarify some of that energy. Uh, let's see what the overall energy for the time period I'm setting. I'm doing this reading on the 23rd of April, okay? Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Great Angels. Can you please guide my beautiful Sagittarians? What do they need to know regarding, whoa, uh, temperance, okay? This is your card, Sag. You're uh, fronting the main energy of your reading. So this is about uh, re-examining your priorities in life when you get the temperance card. It's about who do you give uh, healthy energy to you uh, to and who uh, gives you healthy energy back, okay? It's that balanced, harmonious kind of energy, moderation. Now also, this is uh, your protagonist energy. So I feel like you're trying to maintain some sort of order and peace within your life and you really don't want anyone messing up the status quo here. So I feel like um, I'm not sure how you feel about a reconciliation because you're always kind of a sign that wants to move forward only and never backwards so um i feel like it may be a bit of a surprise if you hear from this person in the past but let's see what they got going on there thank you so much spirit guys Ooh, how would you like to receive thank you so much uh we have the wheel of fortune yeah as i said a surprise whenever you get a surprise you either get a wheel of fortune and a tower normally in my readings you'll notice that both show up in the same reading because there is an element of surprise or something you were not expecting here now the wheel of fortune indicates sorry they're just giving me something but i can't quite get it it was a smell they're giving me Okay, I can't get it, so uh, if it comes to me again, uh, then I will uh, try and uh, decipher uh, that energy. Uh, the Wheel of Fortune, I feel like uh, your luck is turning when it comes to love there. Uh, we've also got the Chariot, wonderful. Uh, an opportunity to move forward and overcome any obstacles. I feel like you've been working on yourself really um, hard, my beautiful Sag. Really trying to um, invest in self self-care, self-love, and I feel like uh, you're in a position now where you, you're not, um, it's almost like you're not going to lose your head when it comes to love, okay? I feel like you're going to follow your heart, absolutely, but I feel like you're moving forward. Uh, as I said, I just get this energy, Sag, that you're never one to look backwards, but they're giving you a heads up that there may be someone, um, they're just showing me now, someone uh, just kind of uh, liking a, it's almost like I mean, I don't really know much about social media. I tried it, but it just doesn't really work for me. Um, so I just feel like there's an energy here of someone from your past liking um, out of the blue, liking something that you've posted, okay? Now this may be someone that you had a romantic uh, relationship with, or it may, it may be someone that there was a frizz on there. Uh, let me pull a card on that energy. That's not gonna speak to everybody, but I'm just gonna, um, thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Great Angels. Can you please clarify this energy that I'm picking up on? Thank you so much. Yeah, this person sees you doing quite well, finds you very attractive, okay? Um, it's all, they're checking to see if you're single as well. Uh, mm, I don't really like that energy. I, I was just given an energy. It's almost like they're checking to see how much, uh, it's what you're possibly doing with your life right now and financially where you might, might be at. So um, I don't really like that energy at all. Uh, why would anyone want to know that? How would you like to receive? Thank you so much. Yeah, we've got the Page of Swords in the reverse. So they're definitely indicating that this person is watching you. This is the card of the Lurker, okay? Now, this, the, someone's stalking you, okay? And uh, in the upright, uh, this person's uh, just seeing, uh, you know, um, what you're up to and trying to sort of be curious about what it is that you're doing. Uh, similar energy, but this person is trouble, okay? I feel like this person's very immature energy. Uh, this person... Um, it's almost like this person is uh, either going through some sort of hardship themselves at the moment and seeing where you're at, seeing you uh, thrive, or uh, you know, seeing if you're doing well. Um, I mean, they could there could be some sort of um, this person going through some sort of legal issue, or um, but I feel like this person they're receiving some they've received some sort of bad news or something like that or they are bad news i'm just getting this energy that uh you know they're keeping tabs on you um, and not for the right reasons that's what i'm getting sag and that's what this re reconciliation um thank you so much spirit guys going angels whoa yeah okay look at, i mean look at the way it even came out there okay we got the knight of cups okay um i mean there is it's almost like I, don't, I want to be fair to the person. I feel like they may be going through some difficulties and wondering how you're at. But I do feel like this person from the past um, does have a lot of love for you, okay? Especially since we got that Knight of Cups there. Their, int their intentions, they, they can't get over you. Let's put it that way. It's almost like they feel, 
a bit, they feel like their hope is destroyed in some area. They're feeling a little bit stuck and they're offering you love because they, they think back to the time where they were with you or uh, they had something, something with you. And I feel like there's a lot of love here, but there's something really chaotic going on in this person's world um, for them to be checking you out to see how well you're doing. Okay, now I don't want to dwell on this person's energy, but I just want to give you uh, this a heads up on this reconciliation. I mean, we got pay attention to the red, red flags for a reason. The signs are cautioning you. Okay, now normally when I get this card, I get an energy of people guarding their wonderful heart, especially if you've been hurt in the past. Sag, because I feel like definitely you may have built a bit of a barrier there if someone um, abandoned your connection or even they just give me this the, the two words played dirty now I don't feel like they cheated on you they I mean they may have I'm not sure but um, played dirty I feel like this person may have um, been a little bit um, immature in their energy and uh, the energy that I'm getting for played dirty it's almost like they pushed you to make the decision to uh, leave the relationship or they, they acted so bad that uh, you know there was nothing more to do but walk away from the relationship for you Sag that's what I'm getting okay uh, this person as you can see the ghost of the past coming back on in with some sort of um, gift apology that sort of thing and it's almost like uh, normally you'd ignore it but perhaps you're in a, a position right now where you may peek out and see what they got to offer uh, they're indicating here that just be just be a little mindful okay uh, now I'm sure I don't need to tell you but uh, that's what they're indicating with that I'm just gonna see what their true intentions are they're gonna offer love but what's their true intentions before I move on with the energy thank you so much spirit guys and angels can you please God I mean you may be dealing with another sad serious uh, there, Sag, because they're really highlighting the Temperance card for me. Uh, we've also got Cancerian energy there. Thank you so much, Spirit Guys. Whoa. Okay. How would you like to receive? Thank you so much. Uh, we've got the Queen of Swords in the uh, reverse there. We've got the Four Pentacles, Page of Pentacles, the Judgment card, Temperance in reverse. Yeah, not ready. No. Okay. Uh, it's a big. It's a big no. Okay. We got the Queen of Swords. This is someone that you haven't talked to for a while, and you may have gone cold on this person because they went that way first. This person may have been unkind to you. Okay. Um, maybe even dishonest. Maybe you feel like this person was dishonest. Um, you're thinking more for the long term, and it looks like this person's not really offering anything. Uh, Page of Pentacles in the reverse. Uh, no. Uh, this person. You know. I, this is how I feel that you are thinking about the connection, Sag. Um, now, this is, it's interesting because we've got the judgment card here as well. Uh, you may entertain it for a second uh, because the judgment card is about rebirth. It's about uh, a fork in the road, making a decision there. And it's often considered the card of second choices, uh, second chances, okay? But, uh, you know, the energy that I'm getting here is the king of wands in reverse. This person's not ready. They're sexually chaotic. Um, they may have even used sex as intimacy there. Uh, this person was not ready to be in a relationship with you when they were with you. And uh, it's almost like if they didn't see what they had when they had it, Sag, I feel like you're, you're gone. I just feel like you're moving on without them. The Temperance card indicates a lot of frustration. This person is disruptive force in your life. And you may feel like... Um, that they are a chaotic kind of person anyway. Um, and I just I just get this energy that you're kind of like, you entertain it for a second because um, there may be a moment where you think about the good old days, but I feel like uh, the chariot indicates you're moving on, you're moving forward. Uh, now, this is interesting because the chariot card in the unified position, this person wants to overcome the obstacles. They do, there is love there, okay? There is a lot of love, but the chariot card indicates overcoming obstacles to move forward. Okay, and um, if they're showing up in this energy, I can only imagine that you're moving forward without them. Um, let me see. Can you please clarify if Sag is moving? Whoa, they know what I'm going to ask. Is Sag moving forward in a solitary energy or with this person? This person's going to apologize. Oh, yeah, solitary energy. Okay, um, so we got the Queen of uh, Wands here. This person finds you very, very attractive, Sag. Male or female, not a gender specific reading, it's about the energy. Okay, this person is very attracted to you, um, but also you are very feisty now. Uh, you've got your confidence back, and I feel like you're self-assured. Um, you know, we, we got that three of swords in the reverse, which indicates this person may offer an apology, but you know that you're worth better, or you're, you know, 
I mean, you may forgive and move on. You certainly won't forget uh, because you're just lightening your karmic load in order to forgive so that you're not weighed down by it. Um, the four of um, swords in the reverse there indicates, uh, you know, a little bit of anxiety, but it's a solitary energy. And, you know, it's almost like um, there may be something deep down in you right when you separated from this person thinking that they would be back. You may, you may have felt like it, it wouldn't... It, it wouldn't take so long because I feel like it's been a period of time before uh, you hear from this person. I feel like it's been a while, okay? Um, but as this is when you hear from this person, I feel like um, there's part of you deep down that you thought this would come one day, but you just felt it's been such a long time that uh, it probably won't happen, uh, but it comes out of the blue. It's a surprise, okay? This person, um, I mean, there's something here about this person traveling as well. I know there's a lot of travel stipulations around the world, but I feel like this person's traveling. Uh, now, either they're like, they drop you a line or they uh, insinuate that they're kind of like coming to where you live, not, not physically to your house, but either in the area or something. There's something about that. Anyway, I'm going to leave that energy there because at the moment I'm just getting that this person's got a lot of love for you, but they're not willing to step up the up to the plate, okay? So uh, next, let's move forward. Um, the chariot card is a victory card as you move forward. Partnered with that Wheel of Fortune, you may have felt like you had a bit of a run of bad luck in love for a while, Sag, but that's all about to change now. Um, I feel like uh, there is good karma here coming for you. Destiny allows you to move forward towards a successful relationship, okay? Uh, now, they're really highlighting that soulmate card for me, and they actually, I'm just going to put it there because they're really highlighting it for me. Um, so maybe that ink is indicating that there's someone new coming on in. So let's see what's going on there. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Going Angels. Can you please guide my beautiful Sagittarians? What do they need to know uh, regarding this reading? What is the heart of the matter? Thank you so much. Uh, they want this one first. Now, male or female, not a gender-specific reading. It's about the energy. You're bossing up. This is your energy. This is the present moment. You may be thinking about business. You may be thinking about being an entrepreneur, setting up your own thing. I feel like financially you're planning for the future there and you're only looking for someone who wants to settle down uh, or who wants to go the distance. You are commanding respect. There's a lot of um, leadership skills I feel like you are uh, displaying right now, but I, I feel like this is about structure. You've created a certain um, way of life, maybe a pattern, um, that you're in at the moment. Now, you may feel a little bit rigid because at the moment there's a lot of um, travel restrictions around the world and that does not suit your sign at all. Um, so you may feel a little bit claustrophobic at times, but you may be planning something for the future to be able to move forward. Um, you may be dealing with uh, places or people of authority, getting advice on making investments or uh, new jobs, that sort of thing. I feel very much like um, you're quite calm so when this person comes in, there's like an energy of, no, oh, not you. I just, I just get this like, why? Why now? Why? Um, energy. Now, they're just giving me Andorra. Andorra. So I, of course that's a place, um, but uh, it could be a name also. So please take it as it resonates. It could be a nickname or it could be where this person is from. It could be where you're from. Uh, please take it as it resonates. I mean, maybe it's, you're thinking about booking a holiday there uh they're just showing me loads of dollar signs i think it's quite expensive there uh or or you, there's there's money something about money so maybe you're thinking about i don't know uh, connecting money to andorra who knows l l i'll leave that there um now what is the challenge in this situation the eight of water you've emotionally checked out of this situation you're walking forward um also i feel like you had to withdraw Okay, now I feel like whatever happened in the past, and as I said, I don't really want to dwell there, um, but I feel like it's made you feel in general, Sag, that you've withdrawn from love and may have lost a little bit of hope when it comes to finding love. There may be a little bit of cynicism there, um, but they are indicating here, um, Eight of water is the Eight of Cups. Please look up the meanings of the cards. Um, I know you don't want to talk about old um, or you don't want to talk about reunions and all of those things some people do of course um, but I just want you to be aware that an eight of water is a return card okay someone returning from the past claiming to have like learned, learned the lessons uh, they want to make things work this is a return to, to home and this person from the past feels like your home but we've already clarified this person's energy the problem here is you've already emotionally checked out this person may have pushed you away so much that um, you've even questioned um, they're giving me a song, Tina Turner, what's love got to do with it? 
um, I, I know that song anywhere. Uh, could I tell you the lyrics? Uh, not right now. Uh, could you please play that again, please? So uh, all I'm getting, and this I don't even know if this is the lyrics, but this is what I'm getting. Uh, what's love got to do with it? Um, and then it sort of goes muffled and it says secondhand emotion. So maybe you felt like you were a choice or the... No, they're just playing that over and over again, secondhand emotion. Uh, I, I'm going to look up the lyrics after this. Uh, uh, you know, it's probably not even in the lyrics, but that's what I'm being given. Anyway, Ada Water. Um, there's an energy of abandonment. This person left you hanging, okay? And I feel like that was the challenge. You may have felt like this person was also emotionally withdrawn. Uh, the reason I'm talking about this person is because this is the challenge moving forward for your love. Um, it may have prevented you from moving forward in terms of finding a soulmate because uh, you, this person may have uh, led you down the garden path, sad, you may have felt like this person was going to be for the long haul, uh, you may have even talked about uh, marriage and kids and settling down, it's almost like this person presented a future to you um, that you could both dream of and then all of a sudden it was like gone, okay, um, ooh, they just gave me an image there, uh, they're showing me a film um, and it's with uh, Kevin Spacey in there, um, could you please, uh, Kaiser Sose, Kaiser Sose, um, so let me just tap into that energy a bit more, okay, it's almost like this person presented themselves as something that they weren't, perhaps they even played the victim mode, uh, I think that character plays, a, pretends to be, uh, less able-bodied, um, and in order to fool people, Okay, so there may be some sort of victim mode that this person may have been in as well, okay? Um, the, the Spirit's asking you to sort of remove this energy now. This was uh, supposed to be a learning curve for you um, uh, in order to um, know how to give healthy, uh, because there was something about codependency here as well. Uh, it hasn't shown up in the cards, but I'm feeling that. Anyway, what is below you? The Ten of Fire, you're done. Definitely picked up that energy from the very beginning. Ten of fire, stressful energy, exhaustion. You, you just got so much other things going on, Sag, that you're not even interested, okay? Uh, I feel like you burned this contract to the ground already and have moved forward. Um, I feel like you were forced to do this. I don't feel like you got closure from the situation. I, felt, I feel like you had to do this, okay? What is in the recent past? Seven of water, choices, okay? Now, the energy here I've got with choices... I'm also getting a secondary energy, Sag, which is almost like this heartbreak has made you f feel like, now please don't shoot the messenger when I, I say this, it's almost like this experience in love from the past has made you feel like you don't want to commit, or it's made you feel like uh, maybe there's commitment issues within you. Spirit's indicating that's not the case. I'm going to pull a card on that. Um, it's almost like Oh, wow, what is this? They're giving me lots of songs in your um, in your reading. Um, I'm never going to dance again. I, I, that voice is definitely George Michael. What is that song? I'm never going to dance again. Guilty feeling. I can't, I, you know what? I'm, I'm going to kick myself after this reading. I know the song, of course I do, but I just can't grab it right now. Spirit, if you could give me the name of that song. It's probably even called I'm Never Gonna Dance Again. Anyway, I'll move on from that. Uh, I'll look up the lyrics and the song of that as well. Uh, thank you so much, Spirit Guys, Great Angels. Can you please guide me on the Seven of Water for my beautiful Sag? What do they need to know? How would you like to receive? Thank you so much. Frustrating. Um, no movement forward. It's almost like you, you haven't been able to move forward in terms of uh, love ever since. Uh, there's an energy of not trusting, perhaps. How would you like to receive? Thank you so much. Yeah. Oh, I mean, the same cards coming out for you, Sag, and I've just shuffled. Exact same cards. Uh, uh, this one was in reverse last time. Um, so it's almost like... Um, perhaps you're thinking about people who are younger than you. You're like, I'm never going to go that way. Um, and... But the judgment card, as I said, is about second chances. Uh, I feel like you've given this person a second chance already. Um, and this, because this I'm clarifying the recent past. You gave this person a chance and they still didn't show up. 
uh, to the table to offer you something. Um, I feel very much like this person denies their feelings. Um, and I feel like this person may be getting a bit of a wake up call right now, but uh, you've already had your wake up call, Sag, and I feel like you're moving forward. Um, I, I want you to be very mindful um, that at one point you may have felt like this person was your soulmate, the one that you were going to be with here. And when they, they withdrew um, their uh, love, you may have felt like you're not going to find someone similar. There's just an energy of um, self-defeatist kind of energy there that comes to everybody after a heartbreak. Uh, you know, that's a natural thing. Uh, but they're indicating this may have lingered for a little bit longer than it should have, Sag. Yeah. Um, look at this energy here. Uh, we've got uh, the, the ten, of, um, 10 of Wands there. It's in the reverse. They want you to have a new start, okay? Um, Finally say no to this person, let them go. Okay, the sun card in the reverse indicates you'll always be waiting. Okay, always be waiting with this relationship. The devil card, toxicity, uh, patterns. This person is, uh, I just get codependency with this energy here. This person, they do like to spy on you a lot. Okay, I'm just getting an obsessive energy here. Um, we do have a queen, a king of uh, cups and a, a, a queen of pentacles here. Okay, now Sag, Although you're a fire element, I just get an energy here that you offered a lot of love here and this person may have been all about money or there's something of involving money. This person always seems to want to know about finances. Uh, maybe not just your finances, but I feel like there's something, this person's quite dependent kind of person, okay? Um, I feel like you are working on your own finances and having self-love there, um, but yeah, I just needed to clarify what was going on in the recent past. Let's move forward and see what's come in the future. What is uh, the potential for my beautiful um, Sagittarians? A page of fire, so new passion, okay? Uh, this is, uh, you will be talking to somebody new coming on in there. Now again, this person may have a Sagittarian uh, sort of placement there because this is your card. Uh, I feel like there's some sort of new project that you may be involving yourself with, Sag, and I think through this energy, uh, this could be with a creative uh, learning group, it could be with uh, something that you are uh, very interested in, that you book yourself on a course or um, you're curious about. I feel like um, an area that you're curious about actually leads you to be talking to somebody new in terms of passion. Um, I feel like this is for someone who is very unique, this new person. Um, they stand out from the crowd. Okay, and as soon as they meet you, it's like passion. Okay, I feel a lot of sparks between you and this person. It's almost like one of those uh, interesting movie uh, moments. Uh, it's been a bit of a cheesy, uh, you know, sort of moment in a film where two people lock eyes and then they cut to like fireworks. You know, that sort of thing. But I feel like that's the energy with you and this new person that's coming on in. It's like you and them together are like a firecracker. Okay, um, and I feel like both of you just hit it off straight away. Now. This may be something, um, they're really showing the moon to me. I'm just gonna clarify that energy. Um, thank you so much, spirit guides, great angels. Can you please guide my beautiful Sag? Eight of Pentacles, investing in self. So I was just asking about the moon, because um, I was wondering if the moon, uh, we've got uh, the, the super moon uh, on the 27th of April. It is in Scorpio, okay? Um, and it's very, very powerful. Um, moon there it's all of, it's one of the most honest moons of the year so a lot comes to the surface anything that people have been denying or trying to avoid comes to the surface in the most uncomfortable way but it's to process things and let them go and move forward uh, so i was just seeing if you were going to be speaking to somebody new um by the time that super moon comes round uh, but that is not the case they're indicating that you will be investing uh in your craft whatever it is that you do okay for a living uh, i feel like you may be uh, maybe uh, doing some sort of course because they this is when you get an eight of pentacles it is about gaining knowledge to rise up within your uh, career so uh, you could be booking yourself on some sort of creative learning course uh, or a earn as you learn uh, maybe getting a bursary and doing something there where you uh, could even be volunteer work um, where you learn something to help you with whatever it is that you do it's also wherever you invest your time and your energy um, that brings, uh, sparks your passion, this is where you get connected to somebody new, okay? What you will, unfortunately, well, or fortunately, if you want to be with this person, I'm not here to judge anybody or their journey, I'm just here to transmute the energy. Uh, we got the six of, um, 
The Six of Water, which is the return card, okay, this is about reunions. So you will hear from that person in the past, um, before, or just in and around the full moon period there. The Strength card in the reverse indicates um, this person, uh, they tend to self-sabotage and you've got low confidence in this person. I feel like you don't trust them anymore anyway, uh, but they are coming in, just to let you know. Um, and we got, yeah, the person you separated from, um, the... the it's pay close attention to your reading. Look at all the synchronicities. When you get a Wheel of Fortune, it's often followed by a lot of synchronicity. You've got the Six of Cups there, which is the return card. Please look up the meanings, as I said, of the cards. you got the Six of Swords there in the reverse. This person's stuck on you. They cannot move forward. And you've also got the Six of Pentacles. You know, that is an energy of you wanting something balanced, wanting a relationship that goes the distance and meets you halfway. Um, and we got that four of wands there. This is someone you separated from, okay? So they really are giving you an indication that yes, you were in a relationship with this person in the past. Um, they are coming on in to talk before, in and around that, that super moon, okay? Uh, they're just giving you a heads up. I'm not saying you're gonna get with that person. They're just giving you a heads up. Now let's see what's to come in the future. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Born Angels. The near future for my beautiful Sagittarians. What do they need to know? Near future. Can you please uh, guide my beautiful Sagittarians? We have... Oh, wow. So we have the Patience card. This is your card. So in the near future, as I said, this is the protagonist energy. Temperance. Uh, balanced energy. You know, you're happy to wait for the one. You're not going to settle for someone who gave you lessons lessen you know their best so the patience card indicates um purpose it, you know it's purpose and patience you're re-examining your priorities what it is you want okay um love doesn't turn up on our time it happens on divine timing in the meantime you're not just sitting there twiddling your thumbs you're uh loving yourself you're building a solid foundation for yourself uh, both in terms of a healthy boundary strong self-esteem but also financially and uh, you're healing lots of stars there um, and also honoring your heart that is the most important thing okay and that's when love comes on in and they're indicating here the lesson to learn for you was a strength card strength of self that's self-love um, inner calm and um, you know courage to uh, wait for the right love you know, uh, often we are presented with the same person from the past over and over again. And if the if the lessons are not being learnt by these people or ourselves, um, there's an energy of not having the courage to walk away. But this card indicates you have that strength to, to sort of um, go for what it is that you want, okay? Um, and we also have the Six of Air. Now, the Six of Air is a necessary uh, moving on, okay? Uh, it's a rite of passage. It indicates here um, that you've got a new way of thinking, you've got a greater wisdom here, and you've got the power to change your mind and decide, you know what? This isn't working for me anymore. You're going to be calm about it. You may have burnt the bridge in anger right back then, but there's an energy here of, you know, sailing away from this person as far as you can. You're moving forward. Now, also, you could be, as I said, uh, relocating. Oh, we got a little bit of energy joining with the candle. Um, they just gave me Foxtrot. Foxtrot. What's that? Fo Foxtrot. I mean, is that a dance? Foxtrot? Okay, um... Maybe you just saw a fox walking. Do they trot? I don't even know. A fox trot. I'm not sure what that is. Maybe that's a nickname or something. Um, maybe it's a word you just read or there's something about that. Please take it as it resonates. It's not going to resonate for everyone. If it doesn't resonate for you, it doesn't mean it's not your reading. It just means they want that person it connects to to pay close attention to it. Now, foxes, they're very shrewd, very clever, very crafty. Um, I love foxes. They're beautiful. Um, but they're always seen as um, a cautionary energy. Okay, so, um, yeah, uh, pay, pay, pay close attention to the red flags if you're getting some red flags with somebody. Um, okay, uh, I'm just going to move on from that because I'm not sure. Please put it in the comments box below, actually, uh, if Foxtrot connects to you because I'd be really interested. It's a, a strange one to come left field. Six of Air is moving forward. So either you're thinking about relocating uh, to a new home or you're, you're getting a new job or you're thinking about, you know, Traveling in some way, I mean, you're probably booking a vacation to get the F out of wherever you are right now to just enjoy some sun, you know, maybe that energy where you're like, I need something to look forward to. So uh, please take that as it resonates, not going to resonate for everyone. Um, but the four of water, uh, the four of water is a surprise. Just when you're feeling like you're fed up in love and there's nothing there, you've lost hope, no one's coming, 
the universe sends a, a surprise for you okay now i'm sure if you are uh they want me to sometimes i get a little bit like oh really they want me to show you again um for those people who are really um who really listen to the to the readings you know that sometimes they ask me to show the four of cups in this particular deck because they really want you to be aware of the energy okay uh, so i'm just going to go get that but basically the four spirit guides can you tell me thank you so much um what they're indicating is um you may be in a fed up energy arms crossed that sort of energy like the the love that has been presented to you so far it just wasn't fulfilling it didn't meet you halfway you put a lot of love time energy nurturing care support you heal people sag and then you may feel like that then as soon as you've given all your love and they they turn out to be a better person for it you know or they're nurtured then they just sort of uh, it's almost like you give them you repair their ego in some way okay now that's i i that sounds like a very negative um kind of connotation there so i really want spirit to indicate could you please clarify more what you mean by that So you may have found that people who are either emotionally um, closed or unavailable or damaged in some way uh, due to past um, hurts or traumas have gravitated towards you, Sag, and you actually build them back up, okay? Um, because you're, it's almost like you become their cheerleader. You kind of like nurture them, care for them. You give them your sort of special kind of love that you, you give and then it makes them feel better. It makes them feel like they're on top of the world and they can do anything. And then they do and then they're gone. So there's that energy here. The new love that comes on in here is not going to be like that. They're indicating just when it's everything, you, you're feeling fed up and you can't see any other love coming on in on the horizon. Um, spirit sees that emotional turmoil that you're in and pops that sort of hand out of you know the hand of fate intervenes destiny and karma and uh the law of you know fate there come on in with something that's more emotionally filling and bigger than ever before okay something uh i don't know why they wanted me to measure it but yeah th those cups are bigger that cup is bigger than all of them the the, the soulmate energy comes on in. So they just want you to be mindful that there is definitely someone new coming on in for you. Um, and you have a new option when it comes to love. You will be loved. You are lovable. And um, there is plenty of... Uh, they give me it's a meeting of minds. This person is on your same wavelength. Because you're a little bit outside the box. You're very interesting, quirky. Uh, you got your own style. Um, and sometimes people misconstrue your humor is what they're giving me right now. Uh, sometimes they misconstrue your humor as being serious uh, when really you've just got sharp wit and people sometimes may take you the wrong way. Um, but this person gets you. So maybe it is another Sag there. Uh, let me just clarify. Uh, what is the advice that you're giving yourself in this moment, Sag? What is the advice, my beautiful Sagittarius? Uh, they're just giving me a name, Harvey. Okay, I feel like Harvey has popped up before in the past, maybe um, mid last year, maybe not for your sign, but they're just giving me Harvey. So either your name is Harvey, or your surname is Harvey, or maybe it's a nickname. Uh, please take it as it resonates. The advice you're given in this moment. Oh. I agree. I agree. You just want the best of the best. Also, you're focused on your money, okay? Uh, the, the king of earth is you want someone who solidly invests in love, and if they do not give you their all, then they're out. You're not interested, okay? You don't want anyone who has... Uh, also, they're giving me something here as well. You don't want anyone who's jealous. I mean, that's an obvious thing. Nobody would want anyone who's jealous. Uh, but perhaps a person in the past tried to make you jealous or um, was a jealous person. Um, and uh, it's like there's a very sort of... There's something about trust here where it's like, no, you don't want that. Um, Spirit's just indicating here, focus on what you do want, okay? Um, because um, I read something wonderful the other day, which is about the universe. It uh, doesn't really understand uh, your words. They understand your vibrations, okay? It's an energetic field. So what you put out, if you're saying, I don't want this because this happened, I don't want that because that happened. Because when you say what you don't want, you've got an attachment to the feeling of what it is that you don't want, and you're actually just calling that back. So turn your words around, especially since we got the justice card here. Uh, the sword is really highlighted to me, so it's about watch your words, okay? Um, so turn it around and say, what I, I really want someone who we laugh so hard. They're indicating that number one on your list is laughing. 
okay? Someone who makes you laugh. And so if that's you, if you've made a list and you're like, number one is laughing, uh, they make you laugh, then there's something in this message for you that's not going to speak to everybody, okay? Um, but what they're indicating here is uh, you, just, just say what you want, okay? You want someone who is kind, who makes you laugh, who uh, is quirky, who wants to go on adventures. Don't mention the, the negatives. Don't, don't start with, I don't want, okay? Because that's what you get. Um, now, also, um, they're indicating that you're focused on your finances, uh, bossing up there, a strategy for the future, and you're building a solid foundation. You're really trying to focus on career. If you're still working, if you're not working, you're retired, uh, you may be, you know, thinking about different investments, um, but you may be uh, just uh, sort of like kicking back and relaxing in sort of the empire that you built for yourself for retirement um, but also we got the justice card you just want good karma and also if this person from the past comes you just want the truth just tell me the truth nothing but the truth even if you're bothered because i really feel like you're not even bothered about the truth right now for this person sag i feel like you're moving forward without this person um now also there may be some sort of legalities that you're going through. Uh, this could be in terms of looking at uh, cars or homes because we got that chariot card here. Um, and I feel like there's some sort of movement forward. So you may be looking at legalities or um, contracts to do with those things. Uh, pay close attention to the details, of course. But the justice card indicates, and it's number 11, indicates that you're on the right path and you just want what is right. You want the love that you deserve and what is right for you. Now let's just check what the external circumstances are. What's the environment for my beautiful Sag? We have the Seven of Air, and we have the Queen of Fire. Same card. You got the Queen of uh, the Queen of uh, Wands earlier, uh, which is a very attractive energy. Okay, Sag. Um, seven of Air is um, the environment indicates that you are not a conformist. You know, you live life on your own terms, um, and you know you're not a people pleaser. You're a very independent spirit, and uh, whilst that is wonderful. Sometimes uh, people may look at you, Sag, like you got it all going on. You don't need nobody, okay? So just remember sometimes open up a little bit to people if you feel like you've got a little bit of a barrier. I mean, we all do at some stage, so it's nothing to um, sort of berate yourself about, but just be mindful of that um, because it indicates there's a possibility that you're running away from love, okay? And they just want you to be mindful of that right now. Um, but we got the Queen of Fire, You've got a lot of potential to attract, okay, right now. You are on fire. You're leading with your soul. You're beautiful both inside and out. Male or female, not a gender-specific reading, even though it's a queen energy. This is a time for attraction, okay? So there's a lot of potential here. And a lot of people are drawn to the fact that you aren't a people pleaser. They love your confidence, your style. Um, so please don't change that about yourself, okay? The, the circumstances to meet a passionate new suitor it's like all the circumstances are coming together uh, in play there. Uh, now, what is the hope and fear for my beautiful Sag? What is the hopes and fears? What do they hope and fear in this situation? Ooh. Okay. Um, now, interesting. Uh, the Nine of Fire. The Nine of Fire is the wounded warrior. Okay, so this is a, a little bit of energy where they're suggesting that even though you've been wounded in the past, and you may be cautious in love because this is a cautionary energy here. Um, okay, they just gave me the word forthright. Forthright. Okay, so I'm just giving you what they're giving me. I'm not sure what it connects to. Perhaps you're reading something and you've read the word forthright. I mean, it could be it could be a name, uh, I guess, but I feel it's an actual word that means you speak your mind. Okay, uh, forthright. Um, but the Nine of Fire, what they're giving me about this is just uh, you still... There's still a little bit within you that hopes that you find love. It's almost like you do persist regarding the fact that you've got a bit of a boundary there that you're protecting your heart. Remember, um, when we all get we all get heartbroken at some point, okay? Um, unfortunately, that is the nature of learning. Um, but um, when the boundary goes up, remember, it is wonderful to protect your beautiful heart. But when you meet new love, and you will be talking to somebody new, okay, um, then it's tough for people to get in as much as, um, you know, you want to keep pain out, okay? So just be mindful of that. Uh, now the page of air. This is interesting, Sag, because you know this person. Deep down, I feel like you may really... Um, sorry, they're just indicating here uh, that someone's got a really restless leg. 
Um, I know it's a very strange thing to say, but they're indicating someone's got a restless leg. It's on the left hand side um, and it's making you feel like, oh, you can't. It's almost like your leg doesn't fit anywhere. Um, I'm not really sure what that energy is, but if it if that connects to you in some way, then there's something in this message for you. I have to mention it because if I don't mention it, it, it doesn't go away, okay? So I've mentioned it now, I've left it there. Um, if it doesn't connect to you, again, doesn't mean it's not your reading. It just means they want that person to pay close attention to the reading. Uh, the Page of Air, your, per, your person from the past is stalking you, okay? Uh, we've already talked about that. They're very curious about your energy. This person could have Aquarius placements. It could also be a Sag as well. Uh, I mean, they could be... Um, they could be someone with an, an Aries placement as well or a Cancerian placement. Um, but I feel like this person, uh, they do feel like you're the one that got away, even though they're the one that sort of emotionally went cold and pushed, Okay. Just so you're aware. But I feel like there's definitely, um, you're going to hear from this person. Pages, they bring news, okay? They bring news. Um, so you will definitely hear from someone new as well because we got that page of air. Uh, sorry, we got messenger of air. So uh, there's two people sort of contacting you here. Uh, this one uh, feels like they're a little bit younger, a little bit immature in their energy. Um, and the messenger of air, um, this indicates, you know, you got a different way of thinking. You're going to do things differently this time. I feel like you, you're broadening your horizon and your perspective when it comes to love. And I feel like you're looking for new options there. Um, I feel like definitely you could meet somebody. They could have Aquarius, Gemini or Libra in their chart. Um, someone who's very adventurous. Someone who's a meeting of minds with you. They're very fun, uh, very creative, very colorful character. Uh, what kind of, what was that? Sorry, I'm channeling. So uh, there was just a, a, a an accent here. I'm not even sure what accent that was, but uh, I just felt like a... Okay, I'm just going to move on. A colourful character, okay, um, uh, that's coming on in here for you. Um, I also get an energy here of um, changing your life. There's a lifestyle change here, okay, because this is the messenger of air connects to the um, Knight of Air, Knight of Swords there, and that is about life changes. So if you're thinking about buying a car or, uh, you know, moving home or moving area, maybe you're moving out of town, out of state, um, or even, I mean, we haven't got the world card. You may be thinking about relocating or emigrating, but um, they're indicating that you're making some serious lifestyle changes here. I'm just going to clarify some of that energy um, because they're indicating when you make these lifestyle changes or take this course to change or do some sort of learning, um, to, to do some sort of creative uh, course or a creative idea or something there or a project, um, this is when you meet somebody new. Uh, thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Going Angels. Can you please clarify this messenger of air? Can you please clarify the messenger of air? Ooh. Can you please clarify the messenger of air? Thank you so much. Um, yeah, when you leave... Oh... Okay. Uh, so we got the Six of Cups again. So they're just clarifying that you will be here, you will be getting a message from this person from the past, that is for sure. I think Spirit's made a really big, big deal about this. Uh, I mean, if I had the other six of cups from, from there, I'd show it if I had a third hand, okay? Uh, but they are indicating there's definitely reconciliation here. Um, but I feel like you're moving home, okay? Ten of Pentacles is a moving home kind of energy. Now, I also feel like that your family or, or whoever this person is, your friends, it could be a, it could be a family member uh, or friend really does not like this person at all. OK, it's almost like they would try and block it. They'd let you make your own mistakes, Sag, because, you know, we're here to experience life on our own terms. But I feel like they would try and reason with you. Um, but they're indicating that there is a lifestyle change. You're either leaving home or, uh, I mean, you could be moving out of a family home there. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Great Angels. Messenger of Air, anything more on that for my beautiful uh, Sag? Um, as I was um, shuffling the cards, they give me the word Moriarty. Moriarty. Now that could be a name, but I feel like Moriarty is something to be, is something negative or something. Moriarty, to bring the energy low. I'll have to look it up. Um, we got the three of wands there. You're waiting for the right moment to move or catch a break or something. As you can see, this wonderful lady there in that card is uh, waiting for uh, to catch a break uh, in order to, uh, you know, ride a wave. 
uh, move forward somewhere else. Okay, so there's definitely an energy here of um, expansion or travel. You may be having travel plans. Uh, I mean, you may have booked some sort of um, something to look forward to in the future and um, you may meet this new person there. They're really indicating here that there is a, you don't meet this person too close to home. That's what I'm getting at. Uh, it's like a, away from home or um, on some sort of travel or a course, something out of your comfort zone, something that you don't normally do. Um, they said one more. Thank you so much. Uh, they just gave me Sabrina, Sabrina. So if your name is Sabrina, or the person you were dealing with in the past is called Sabrina, or perhaps you're looking for a feminine energy in the future, uh, Sabrina, ooh, uh, please take it as it resonates. Again, it's not going to resonate for everyone. Um, if it, again, does not resonate for you, it doesn't mean it's not your reading, just so you're aware. Um, whoever this new person in the future is, um, they could have very strong fire in their chart as well. Aries, Leo, and as I, as I said, another Sag. Uh, you will have a high level commitment with this person, okay? Uh, this is an engagement card. This is the halfway to marriage card. Uh, so I feel like um, there's there's celebration here. Your friends love this person. It's almost like when you get to move forward. You know, I shuffle this deck lots and lots, okay? There's rarely a card, two cards, you know, back to back coming out. <laughs> So um, we got the three and the four. You're progressing, okay? So when there's movement and travel and you're able to action something, um, then you meet someone that your friends love and that you will lead, it will lead to a higher level of commitment, okay? So I'm just going to find out an outcome uh, before we move forward. Ooh. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, God Angels. Can you please give my beautiful Sagittarius the outcome? Uh, what do they need to know regarding the outcome? Thank you so much. We got the Ace of Fire, New Passion. Oh, boom! Sag, this is beautiful, okay? Uh, Ace of Fire and Ace of Water. New, new, and new, okay? Now, this is, um, you know, Ace of Fire is a lot of passion. As I said, this new relationship that comes on in, so much passion, it's really hot, okay? Uh, but also, it's paired with love. And we've got uh, the seahorse there, which indicates... Um, a meeting of minds, a soulmate, someone who takes a journey of life uh, together. You meet your, your counterpart. Seahorses, they partner up for life, okay? And there's a lot of wisdom that went before. You got a pearl of wisdom right there. This person offers you their everything, okay? Uh, it, it's not a coincidence that you got synchronicity in your reading because you got Wheel of Fortune. Fate intervenes. This, when the aces show up, this means fate has intervened and aces are guided by spirit. The right person who's coming for you is on their way, okay? Um, two aces there indicates you get the best of the best and there's love there. It will lead to a proposal or some sort of um, romantic relationship that, uh, you know, goes the distance. Moving in, um, you know, getting married if that's what you want. Not everybody wants that. Uh, but the Ace of Fire indicates a new passion. It is somehow connected to a new creative project or some sort of uh, travel that maybe even linked to the project. There's something creative here going on or something passionate. Wherever your passion uh, leads you because everyone's passionately involved with something. Okay, Sag? Um, so whatever that is for you, I feel like that's where this new person is connected to. Now, Although there's two aces there, it could indicate that there's two opportunities, but the energy I'm feeling is that this is the same person who brings so much passion and so much love, you will never look at another again. This is the energy that I'm getting. Okay, they just said Peter, Peter. So um, either your name is Peter or someone in the future is called Peter that you meet um, or I mean write it down sometimes I write down the images that come to me uh, for me or my family members uh, I don't often see for me or my family members it's very odd occasion uh, unfortunately I can see for for other people but not for me so uh, it's always the way unless I'm in immediate danger of course uh, thank you so much spirit guys great angels can you please uh, clarify anything further three of earth okay um yeah, Three of Earth is building a solid foundation, okay? Especially when you get it in this deck, uh, the Three of Earth, the Three of Pentacles, indicates um, you're on your way, you've taken steps to uh, welcome in this wonderful um, kind of uh, future opportunity to meet somebody in love. Um, I feel like um, either you team up with this person in some way, or uh, there's a collaboration, perhaps, a creative collaboration on something, or it's... A, it feels very much like a group setting, okay, Sag? I don't feel like you work with this person. Um, I don't feel like you would meet someone at work. I, I, 
I mean, you could, but I feel like that's not something you'd want to do. But I feel like it's where people gather together. Um, it's not like you're going to just bump into this person in the grocery store. I feel like it's a gathering, okay? Um, and um, it's something that you're doing to invest in your future. And you meet this person on that, okay? So um, beautiful energy there. Oh, I'm loving it, okay? Um, also, they're indicating slightly... Uh, not for all, not for all, uh, but they're indicating slightly that there are two uh, potential suitors coming on in for you, okay? One has got a fire, heavy fire in their chart, the other one has um, water, because they just said to me, um, Sag plus two is three, and we got a three of pentacles. So they're indicating that there's two opportunities in the future for you to choose from. Um, one is very passionate, the other one has got both, I feel. Um, they've got a lot of love to, to offer. We will leave that there, my beautiful Sag. Uh, let's move forward and get any advice from Spirit there before we close. Thank you so much, Spirit guys. Great angels. Can you please guide? Thank you so much. They just said that is all. Ooh. We don't often just get just one, uh, but it says surrender. Okay? Surrender to the process. Surrender to the universe. Um, things happen in divine timing. They don't always work out the way that we want them to, uh, but they often work out the way they're meant to. Okay? And sometimes, most of the time, that is often better than what we had envisaged for ourselves. Okay? Uh, now, just before I close, I'm just going to get your Wisdom of the Oracle card. Thank you so much. Whoa. Okay? Unfinished Symphony. But it's in the reverse. Okay, it's number 10, which is endings and new beginnings, but it's also the Wheel of Fortune, okay, which is in the resistance position. You've got it in the resistance position there, um, and that would be as if it was in the reverse there. So I'm just going to show you in the upright, okay, we've got this person sitting on an egg for someone new. Uh, the, the piano is like soul song kind of music there, but it's also about vibrations, Okay, just so you're aware of the musical notes, uh, they're all vibrations, right? So when you rise your you raise your vibrations, uh, you get partnered with the person you're meant to be with. Now, if there's someone that you've been separated from, um, they're indicating here that you may be wanting new. Uh, let's read from the book because I don't want to tell you anything wrong. Um, in the upright, unfinished symphony is just that. But in the reverse, I feel like you're, you're, you're coming to terms or you've already accepted that it's way over, okay? Um, now, let's read from the book. I don't want to tell you anything wrong. Uh, we have, we get the protection message. When unfinished, I'll start again. <laughs> uh, when unfinished business casts a shadow over your life, it is a reminder that procrastination is a form of self-sabotage. It's not in your best interest to stall. Even stumbling forward is better than holding back. So they're just indicating that someone dropped a book. Okay, if that was you, uh, there's something in this message for you. It's not going to resonate for everyone, of course, but if that was you, you dropped a book, um, or a book fell uh, and startled you, um, then there's something in this message for you. Um, back to this. It is not in your best interest to stall. Even stumbling forward is better than holding back. Don't overthink things or let yourself get distracted. Just tie up any loose ends and deliver the results. Don't quit before the finish line. Spirit wants you to win. Okay? Don't give up on love. Spirit wants you to win in love too, okay? Uh, so if, if you're, you're done with a person from the past, you may think about it for a second when they come back on in, but tie up those loose ends. If you really do not want to reconcile with the person from the past, then uh, look what is to come. But if you do, of course you can heal that. There's some obstacles to overcome. You need to have a conversation, okay? Um, and uh, you need to be able to move forward and sort of start anew. You have a choice. The Seven of Water indicates you've got choices here, okay? Uh, this person has to tell you the truth. They have to be all in and match what you have to give. Otherwise, it's all lost, okay? I'm just going to give you a trinket before we close. Thank you so much for it, guys. Wait, angels, can you please dive? My beautiful Sagittarians. Oh, wow. So, we have... They're giving me another, a song... Uh, the song came up in another reading a uh, couple either yesterday or two days ago uh, and it's the share song do you believe in life after love that just came in just now okay so um i can't remember for the life of me what reading that was uh perhaps it was taurus 
I'm not sure. So maybe if you've got Taurus placements, uh, then there's something in that message for you. But anyway, we got the four leaf clover, which indicates luck is on your side, okay? There's going to be good karma coming towards you. Uh, a change in fortune with regards to your love life. Uh, they want this on the wheel of fortune, okay? So I'm just gonna pop it there. There's good luck here for you now. Uh, we've also got a key within a heart with a heart on it, okay? Um, unlock your heart to this wonderful new love, my beautiful Sag, because you deserve it so much. You've got so much to give, and um, I feel like the person who's got the key to your heart is out there, they're coming on in, okay? It's only a matter of time, so don't give up, don't become cynical. Easier said than done, I know, but what you think about, you bring about, okay? Thoughts become things. If you believe that you're not gonna receive love, then you're right, because you're not even looking on it for it, you've given up. But if you believe that you're gonna receive, then you will because the potential is there, okay? As a, it, it's about raising the vibration, to be honest, okay? And where would you like this? Where would you like this? Oh, they want it on the two aces, okay? Uh, we've also got, oh, wow. We've also got a heart. Now look at that heart. It's got a hole in it, okay? There's a hole already there, so a wound. Uh, but also we've got the word love on the heart and we've got another arrow that's piercing it. So this is another opportunity to fall in love, Sag, okay? You may have been wounded in the past and there, it may have left a mark. You will never forget, but you know, that hole, you know, will be covered up in time with somebody else. Uh, there will be healing, okay? And I feel like there's someone new. Uh, Cupid's about to sort of shoot the arrow and uh, bring someone new into your life, okay? Uh, they actually want this on the chariot card okay uh, because you are overcoming obstacles and you will move forward okay my beautiful Sag I will leave that there I hope something resonated in this reading for you if it did please like or subscribe to my channel completely free for you all you have to do is press a little bell that's important because it lets you know when I update my next message it lets me know that you resonate with the reading which is very important for me thank you so much also I will be running uh, another competition for one lucky subscriber to win a personal reading so check your sign in the next couple of days I'll upload another video letting you know how thank you so much and love and light.